Hello students, in Form 4, Lesson 8, we were dealing with uh, determining uh, the mass of the salt. That was from year 4. In from year 5, we are dealing with determining the molarity of a solution. I mean the molarity of a salt. Okay, examples. Let's start with example 1. We are told the solubility of sodium chloride is 5.85 gram by 100 gram of water. Calculate the molarity of sodium chloride. So, here we are, we are given molarity, I mean we are given the solubility of a salt, that sodium chloride, and we are expected to get the molarity of that salt. Remember here, we are dealing with solubility, and we are linking with the concept of the mole. We are expected to get the molarity of that sodium chloride. So I want to do this question in two ways. One way, we are dealing with molarity, so we want to use the formula for molarity will be equal to moles times uh, 1,000 of the volume used. So if it's like that, I have to get moles. If I want to get moles, I have to get mass of a molar mass. So they have given us the mass, but I have to get the molar mass or RFM. So I'm going to start with RFM of sodium chloride. So sodium is 23 plus 35.5 for that side of chlorine. This will be uh, 58.5. 58.5. Okay, that's the RFM of that uh, sodium chloride. So moles, moles will be equal to mass over molar mass or RFM, mass over RFM, which is the mass is 5.85, 5.85 divided by 58.5. This we are going to get 0 0.1 moles. Okay, so if you are having moles, how are we going to calculate molarity? How are we going to get? Molarity. Molarity is given by moles times 1000 over volume used. So in our case here, our moles is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times 1000, which is from the formula, divided by the volume used. So the volume used here is 100 gram of water. So learners, remember, uh, 100 gram of water means 100 gram, uh, 100 gram of water it means 100 centimeter cube of water. Okay, that is due to the fact that the density of water is one gram per centimeter cube. So if you are having 100 gram as your mass, how do you get that side of volume? You have to divide it by uh, one gram per centimeter cube. So gram will go with gram, that means centimeter will go up, we are going to get 100 centimeter cube. So the volume is 100. So here we are going to get 1.0 mole. That's the molarity. Okay, the other way is, there's another way that we are going to get molarity. So, molarity. Molarity can be given by concentration in grams per liter over the RFM. Okay, we have the RFM, we have written here. We are not going to look for it, but let's get concentration in gram per liter. So, we are going to see concentration in gram per liter is also known as mass in gram per liter. So, this is the mass, 5.85 gram. It has been dissolved in 100 gram or 100 centimeter cube of water. So you ask yourself, what about 1,000? If it is 1,000 of water, what mass are we going to get or what concentration? We cross multiply, so it will be 5.85 times 1,000 over 100. That will be 58.5. So gram bar liter, that's what we are going to get. So if it's like that, Using the formula, molarity is given concentration in gram per liter, which we have gotten as 58.5 gram per liter, over the RFM, which I've gotten still 58.5. So here I'm going to get 1.0 mole still. That's what I'm going to get. So these two answers are the same. That means I can use this to get that two ways. Okay, next we are going to go to Romeo 6, fractional crystallization. So you can be told what is fractional crystallization. So fractional crystallization is a, a method of uh, separation of uh, uh, different salts with different solubility in the same solvent. So this is a separation of different salts with different solubility in the same solvent. So let us get examples. In example one, we are told to study the diagram below and the, the study the information in the table below on solubilities and answer the questions that follow. So we're having here salt, solubility, which it's expressed in gram by 100 gram of water at 6 degrees Celsius and at 40 degrees Celsius. So here I'm having copper 2 sulfate and here I'm having that side of lead 2 nitrate. So when it is uh, at 6 degrees Celsius, 40 gram of uh, that will dissolve. When it's at 40 degrees Celsius, only 25 will dissolve. And here the same. So at all, if a mixture 
of 38 gram of copper 2 sulfate and 78 gram of the 2 nitrate in 100 gram of water at 60 degrees Celsius is cool to 40 degrees Celsius. We are told which salt will crystallize out and what mass. So we are going to check this. We are having here 38 gram of copper 2 sulfate. If you check copper 2 sulfate is this side, so we are going to check these two temperatures. And the temperature is cool from 60 to 40 degrees Celsius. So I have to check this 40 this side it's 28 gram so what mass have i been given on copper 2 sulfate 38 so that means if i'm given that 8 gram that means only 25 will dissolve at 8 degrees celsius that means 10 remaining won't be dissolving so those one they are going to form crystals so that means the salt that crystallizes out will be that copper 2 sulfate so my answer is copper 2 sulfate copper 2 sulfate so check your tool what mass again so i have to say 38 which i'm given minus 28 which can only dissolve at 40 degrees celsius the remaining will be 10 gram so this 10 gram won't dissolve that means they are going to form crystals or they will be deposited as crystals okay we are told name the above method of separation this above this method of separation is called fractional crystallization fractional crystallization crystallization because we are using uh, the separation of different salts based on their solubility due to the fact that they have different solubility but they are in the same solvent that's water okay example two example two we are told the table below gives the solubility of potassium uh, potassium nitrate and potassium chloride at 50 degrees Celsius and at 20 degrees Celsius. So we are told if a, if a mixture of salts contain, contains 20 gram of potassium nitrate and 18 gram of potassium chloride in one, 100, 100 gram of water was cool from 50 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. We are told identify the salt that crystallizes. Okay, let's start with first of all uh, 20 gram of potassium nitrate. So we go for potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate is here. So we have to check this two temperature, especially at 20 degrees Celsius, because it has been cooled from 50 to 20 degrees Celsius. So at 20 degrees Celsius, that means that one gram of this salt, that means potassium nitrate, can dissolve. Then they have given me 20 gram. That means all of them can dissolve. That means there's no crystals that it's going to be forming there. So I go to this other side, 18 gram of potassium chloride. So potassium chloride is here. That means I will check at 20 degrees Celsius because it has been cooled from 50 to 20 degrees Celsius. So that means at 20 degrees Celsius, only 8 gram of potassium chloride can dissolve. But they have given me 18 gram of potassium chloride. That means out of this 18, 8 only can dissolve. That means the remaining 10 won't dissolve. That means they are going to form crystals. So the salt that crystallizes out will be that potassium chloride. So we are going to write potassium chloride. Potassium chloride. The next, I'm told, uh, determine the mass of the crystals formed. So it will be 18 that they have given us minus 8 that can dissolve at that 20 uh, degrees Celsius temperature. I'm going to get 10 gram of that potassium potassium chloride. Then lastly, I'm told, uh, suggest one industrial application of fractional crystallization. So fractional uh, crystallization is used in obtaining it's used in obtaining uh, this different salts different salts from uh, sea water uh, or we can pick it's used in obtaining sodium chloride sodium chloride from Toronto in Lake Magadi in Lake Magadi okay that's the end